So here live with Javier Molina. He headlines next Tuesday on uh, PBC on FS1. So Javier, tell us, man, you know, you're headlining a televised card for the first time in your young career, and you're fighting an undefeated fighter. What's your mentality going to this fight and being on this stage? You know what? Um, we've been uh, getting ready for this fight for 10 weeks now. So we know he's a tough fighter. He's undefeated. Uh, he's 6'2". He's a tough fighter. I've never fought anybody that, that, uh, that tall before, but we're ready. We've been working a lot of things. Uh, brought in a lot of sparring, and uh, you know I'm excited to be fighting in front of my hometown in LA, uh, headlining the Total Show Tuesday card, PBC, on uh, Fox Sports One, Fox Deportes. Uh, it's gonna be a great night. So tell us a little about your opponent, Jamal James. Uh, have you watched any film? You know, what do you see in him? You know what? I seen a couple of his fights. I seen his last one when he fought Abreu, um, and I seen another one. I'm not sure who he fought, but you no, know, I think his biggest strength is his height and his reach. Um, he does. He does have a lot of flaws. I seen uh, Abreu had a lot of success on him because he does tend to get uh, a little sloppy in there uh, in the second half of the fight. He comes out using his distance, but uh, he once he starts getting hit over, he starts getting a little tired. He does start getting sloppy and winging his shots. So I think we'll be able to take advantage of a lot of that. So you think he'll be able to get inside on him? Oh, definitely. Because um, he does use his jab, but he commits more on the right hand. There's a lot of little things we can do to be able to go inside and break him down and work the body a lot. How do you see round one playing out? And does the fact that it's, you know, headlined on a televised card, does that, you know, make you nervous at all? Or? Uh, not at all. I'm not really focusing too much on that. What I've been focusing on is mostly just the fight itself. Um, I look at it just as any other fight. I know it's I know it's a bigger card. Uh, this is the first time I headlined uh, a televised card but uh, I don't look at I don't look at all that when I'm fighting what my focus on is just the fight itself we've been working on what we're gonna do and we're gonna be patient uh, break them down mentally and just you know just do what we have to do our game plan so what's your prediction for how this fight will land um, I feel like uh, like I feel like I'll get a I'll get uh, I'll stop on the later rounds. I just feel like I'm gonna break them down mentally. Um, just little by little, we're gonna be chopping them down, working the body, and I feel like I'm gonna get a late stoppage. Obviously, you're in a very talented division. You know, Walter Weight. You know, that's kind of the upper echelon of, of the boxing weight divisions right now. If you win this fight, you know, granted, you're not look, you're not overlooking your opponent. But if you win this fight, what would be the next logical step for you in your opinion? You know, definitely. Uh, Step, uh, get another. Uh, well, this is a. I would say step up, but uh, definitely get, go on to bigger, better things. You know, winning a, being an undefeated fighter, winning a, a, a televised card, a PBC, uh, definitely will put my name um, up there. So you know, there's like you said, there's a lot of names out there. The 147 pound So really, I don't, I don't really care who it is. I'm just gonna keep uh, training hard and getting ready for for whoever they put in front of me. Is there anyone?